What's going on guys? Today let's go over the DynMap plugin and creating a subdomain for it. One of the best ways to help players on your Minecraft server is to install the DynMap plugin, introducing a real-time map for anyone to view. This gives you the ability to see bases, villages, factions, and tons of other valuable information. It's incredibly popular, but it can be tricky to fully configure and personalize. Players must use an IP address and port to view the map in their browser, but it would be a lot easier with a subdomain. If you already have a domain, then you can add a subdomain for users to access the online map. Remember, this tutorial requires you to have an existing domain. These cost money and vary in price depending on the used service. This involves accessing your DNS settings and setting up a record and forwarding fields. Head to GoDaddy or your domain site and log in with your account info. After that, head towards the products page and find your desired domain. Next, click the DNS button on the left hand side. While viewing the DNS records category, click add new record near the top and you can fill out these fields starting with type as a, name as map, value as your numeric IP address without the port, and TTL one half hour or default. Once you're finished, click the save button underneath the fields. Now, the next step is to select the forwarding option at the top of your DNS page. Afterward, click add forwarding for the subdomain category. In the subdomain field, enter map and your DynMap URL slash IP underneath it. When you're finished, change the forward type to forward with masking. In the new prompt below, add dynamic map or anything else for the title. Then click save at the bottom when everything is filled out. Upon completing all the above steps, players should be able to access the subdomain in their web browser. In some cases, it may take up to 24 hours for everything to be accessible. If you're able to view the online map with your subdomain, then others can too. And when everything goes accordingly, players can freely look at the map to find resources, bases, and villages, or just to check the world's progress. Now, before we go over some common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay updated on all future videos. If you are unable to edit the A record fields, after creating the forwarding fields, the A record cannot be edited. If you want to make changes to that, then delete the forward section and continue. If you still have issues configuring the DNS settings, you can try reaching out to GoDaddy or your domain provider for support. Subdomains just make everything easier, and it's much easier for players than it would be to type out your IP and port. So if that's something that interests you, give it a try and set up a subdomain for yourself. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.